Here are the head coach of the Cavaliers, Kristen Kunzman. Coach, uh, hard to believe you've just played three games, but we open up MEC play tomorrow, Saturday, at the University of Charleston at 2 p.m. tip. Uh, before we talk about the Golden Eagles a little bit, we'll hit on briefly on the win over Winston-Salem State, 66 to 50, 28 points in the fourth quarter, and uh, your three seniors really carried you to victory again. Yeah, they've been um, tremendous. You know, if they're if they're leading us and continuing to you know put up double figures and grab rebounds and and be leaders out on the floor, um, it's going to put us in a good, good situation. The Golden Eagles, coach, uh, they were picked fourth in the preseason poll uh, by the league's coaches. They're off to a one and two start, but uh, they won their most recent game, 75 to 55, over a previously unbeaten Kentucky State team. Uh, your initial thoughts uh, on Charleston? Overall, Charleston's a good team. Um, they come from a good program. They're well coached. Uh, they have 10 new freshmen this year, so it's going to be a definitely a totally different look than what we've seen. You know, before in the past, they they had a lot of size. Um, this year, they're a lot more athletic, uh, a lot quicker. Abby Watson, uh, one of three players in double figure scoring uh, for Charleston, 22 points, hit four three pointers in, in that win over Charleston, and, and then they've got Peck, a graduate student, who's already had a 28 point game this year. Um, hit on those a little bit and uh, and your game plan uh, to, to stop in this offense attack from the Golden Eagles. You know, Peck, Watson, and Walker, they're all in double figures, all three of them. Um, Peck comes in from uh, Division One school, so she's a transfer. She's uh, very strong on the offensive end. Um, she can hit the three. She can she can get to the rim. Um, there's, there's a lot of versatility they're able to do, even though they're smaller. Um, like I said, they're a lot quicker. They're a lot more athletic. So um, definitely – you know, I, I feel like I say this a lot, but staying disciplined on the defensive end is going to be important for us. Rebounding uh, big in any basketball game, uh, I feel like it would be huge in this one. Uh, Charleston minus five average on the year, and you lead the league at plus 12.3. You've out-rebounded your opponents in all three games this year. Um, your thoughts on, on how that continues and how important that will be tomorrow? You know, I put an emphasis on rebounding every day in practice. I put an emphasis on it in every game. That's not going to change. Um, so if we stay consistent and we continue to work on it, then um, we'll, you know, we'll be able to out rebound and and put ourselves in a good situation. Uh, this is a note for, for fans that are going to the game as well. The game is actually being played at Charleston Catholic High School, uh, and the floor at, at the high school level is smaller than it is at the college level. Does that impact how you play any at all? Uh, not really. I mean, you know, I think now with the four quarters, you'll see a lot more pressing anyway. Um, you know, if that if that hadn't changed, maybe there would be a difference. But uh, you know, it is a little bit smaller. It's a it's a small adjustment, but it's it's not much of a difference. Uh, Klusman uh, come in. She she got you really going in the last game. Uh, scored 14 points. Carrie had uh, one of the best games I've seen her play at 20 and 17. And, and Sandage really running the offense. We've talked about those three a lot. Once you get to conference play, what do you have to do to find somebody else to step up and be a little bit more consistent? You know, um, the, the rest of the girls, a lot of them are underclassmen and with and Allison Balls is junior, but um, those girls just constantly getting in the gym, they're getting time. You know, a lot of those girls are getting time. So just putting in the work in the gym, getting shots up, being able to be an offensive threat when they come off the bench or, or when they start being able to be an offensive threat for us um, because having that diversity in, in other players besides just those three is going to be important for us. Uh, sophomore Ashley Cullen uh, was the fifth starter in the last game. It was her first collegiate start. Um, hit on her a little bit and how much she's worked over the offseason to improve from where she was when she first got here last year. She's someone, first off, she has a great attitude. So she comes in every day with a positive mindset and she really helps lift the girls. Um, you know, all the girls, we talk about who do you want on your bus, all the girls on the team want her on her bus um, because of her attitude, because of her energy she brings. On the court, she gets in the gym, she's getting in the gym daily, she wants to be better. She comes in and asks to watch films, she comes in to ask to help her with um, ball handling, with shooting, so she just puts in a lot of work. Coach, uh, last year you won on your home floor, they won on their home floor, and over the last two years you've played Charleston four times and all four games have been decided by single digits. What are the keys to getting the win on Saturday? You know, stay disciplined. Um, we want to win the battle of the boards on the defensive end. Um, you know, we have to be able to stay very, very disciplined on defense and then just execute our offensive plan, be aggressive and execute. Um, you know, about at the end of the day, basketball court's basketball court, whether we're there or here. Um, we lost a close one there last year, so that kind of put a sour taste in our mouth. So we're ready to go and, and, and do our best to get that win. Fans, if you're not making a trip up to Charleston Catholic High School, you can follow the action live on uvaywisecavs.com. Good luck, Coach. Thanks.